Hi, this is Chris Dixon with Tag Technologies. We're set up here to show you the application process for decorating the O-ring uh, using the transfers which we made for you. Uh, all the transfers have been cut to the same size, so our fixture here is going to allow for a quick and easy placement of, of the uh, application. So it will center the transfer or the ink on the height or the thickness of the material. What we have in front of us is EB decal remover. That's in case you needed to remove a transfer because one is put on upside down or crooked or there was a mistake. We also have IPA, which stands for industrial grade isopropyl alcohol. We're going to use that to clean the parts before we begin the decorating process. We have two trays. One tray is filled with water and contains a cellulose sponge. The other tray will contain our Blend 21 activator. We're going to put about a half inch to three quarter inch deep um, Blend 21 activator in the tray. We have our small two inch squeegee. We have a roller. We have a, a lint free towel and we have the transfers. Now a little housekeeping here. Uh, before you get started with any of the applications you want to make sure that the transfers are protected because if you spill any of the liquids on a bundle of transfers they're going to be ruined so we're gonna put those in a bin with a cover on it put them off to the side we're only going to bring to the workstation the transfers we're going to be using to decorate a few parts so for now I'm going to just set these out here in front of me I'm going to make a little space here and I'm going to show you this fixture which we made that holds the part okay basically uh, we have a piece of melamine. This could be out of plastic or melamine or some other material that's got a protective coating on it so that the liquids don't soak into the material. Uh, you see a couple of lines here. We've got one center line and we've got the two outer lines. The two outer lines are what we're going to align the corners of the transfer up with. We've got a couple of pins here that correspond to the holes that are in the front and the back of the part. Um, to position the, the part correctly, we're just going to simply put the pin in the top hole and lock it into the bottom hole. Press firmly against our fixture so that the back plate now becomes the fence that we're going to use to take our transfer and butt that up against so that we're centered in the thickness of the part itself. On the corners here, if I zoom in, perhaps you can see how I'm lining up the part, you'll see that the transfer corner is going to line up to this line and then on the opposite side we'll have the same thing. So again we're centering the transfer on the part each and every time. Okay so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is clean the part again with our IPA industrial grade isopropyl alcohol. I simply spray that on the part. I'll wipe it off. The next thing I'm going to do Let's take my transfer, ink side down into the Blend 21 activator, two to three seconds. I pull that out, I put it on the part. Again, I push it against the fence and align the corners to the marks. Then I'm going to squeegee from the center of the transfer out to the edge. I'm going to use three strokes, light, medium, and firm, and come back the opposite way, light, medium, and firm. At this point, I remove the part from the fixture and I'm going to use a two inch rubber roller and I'm just going to push down roll across on that transfer that will help to push the ink down into the texture of the part or of the the powder coat then I'm going to take my water wet sponge and I want to bring out all the water I just want a damp sponge and I'm going to wipe up all the excess solution and you can see there the, the transfer paper came off. But I want to wipe that excess solution off as soon as I can. We don't want that to blush or to stain the part. Okay. So I clean that off. I'm using like a paintbrush motion as you can see here to just simply wipe over the transfer. And then you can see the application has been made. And that's all there is to it. It's a simple way to decorate your part, especially going on that inside radius. be very challenging to do with screen printing or with labeling. You can then take some 409 and wipe off the um, part. 
that will help to remove any of the watermarks that may stain the powder coat. So you can 409 it and the application will be complete. That's all there is. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call. You can contact Russ Dixon at 815-363-7030. Thanks. We look forward to your feedback.